Sirpa Pietikäinen, you have been a long time involved in sustainability. And if I may say so, that you are in charge of the implementation of the sustainability finance implementation, the action plan, would you tell first a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, I graduated from the Helsinki School of Economics, and I've been teaching there as well, um, and uh, serving in some of the company boards. So my brains and my thinking goes very much in the line of with economics. And then my heart and commitment goes with the environment, and I've been trying to marry these two together all of my life, and this is part of it. And the first time when I uh, heard about this sustainable finance about 10 years ago, I got really excited uh, because I see that uh, in the nutshell, this is the key for solving uh, climate um, uh, change and other environmental issues, to get the money on the right places from wrong places. And there we get, need to get the indicators right and the incentives right for investors. For us in the investment and, and financial field, uh, the, the decision-making of process of EU is sometimes difficult to understand. Would you describe it in a nutshell? Well, uh, first commission gives the proposal and it sometimes needs a bit of a nudging to, to get on uh, uh, being active. And there has been this kind of a caucuses from financial community, uh, academics and politicians trying to push the commission to give the proposal about greening the finance, sustainable finance. And the commission then again came uh, with the proposal. Uh, uh, it is a package, uh, a roadmap. Commission loves, and I think it's a good idea, these packages and roadmaps, where you sort of put all of the elements, what is needed uh, together. Uh, that came last spring. And then Parliament made own initiative report about it. It means Parliament tells what it thinks about the whole package. And then when we, uh, we start, uh, after the Commission starts with the uh, legal proposals, uh, they have presented three so far uh, to deal with that. And uh, this is a bit like three-headed dragoon, uh, all in the same body, all very determined and intelligent, but you can't fight uh, the head of the others. So Commission, the general European interest, then uh, the Parliament, uh, it is the perspective of the Europeans in, in broader sense, democratic, democratically elected, and Council looking the national perspective, sometimes a bit short-sighted, sometimes better. And then you marry these uh, three elements together in, in very lengthy and complex negotiations where Commission uh, uh, council representatives and parliament is on place. And the parliament has quite a lot of power, and that's why on these reports, legislative proposals, there's always a rapporteur, that means the person in charge, and shadow rapporteurs from other political groups that are in charge on making that parliament uh, position and negotiating it within the parliament. So there, if you have a possibility to, to be in such a place like I had, and I'm very happy and proud of it in this sustainable uh, finance package to be uh, shadow in two and rapporteur in two. Uh, so you can say that uh, there's there's quite a, quite a lot of uh, 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 invested and, and uh, on hold on, uh, on this process. Uh, now, uh, there are proposals for legal changes of EU Commission and also uh, uh, Parliament has uh, uh, told uh, what they think and, and uh, have their own proposal in addition. Uh, would you uh, describe uh, the proposals first and then what do you think will materialize of these proposals? And lastly, the timetable. Uh, <clears throat> Commission, as uh, said, gave the proposals the latest uh, about taxonomy uh, came last, uh, uh, last autumn. And uh, there are three uh, pieces uh, of legislation. One is about disclosure. That means uh, uh, company reporting and reporting what the companies need to report uh, about the environmental impact and societal impact. 
uh, as investors and uh, we broaden it as investee companies. Then about taxonomy, this is about uh, deciding how you measure what, are, what is the impact socially or environmentally. And then the benchmarks, that is uh, to create uh, uh, sustainable benchmark, uh, benchmark definitions and descriptions and processes, how to follow them in when you claim uh, investment is, is environmentally friendly. Commission started on its position uh, from the viewpoint that uh, it first tries to define what is green. And we in the parliament up to the uh, last minute from the uh, first point thought that this is probably not the right approach. Because defining only what is green might create uh, market bubbles. It might get a bit uh, too rigid when technologies uh, evolve. And then again, uh, it might create uh, even situations where you uh, are defied on investments, let's say in, in construction, uh, in concrete, in cement, because you definitely can't call that as such per se, a very green innovation. But it is a very big, a big bulk of uh, uh, resources that we use. Yeah, and indeed, the cement can be very environmentally friendly, uh, friendly produced compared to some other elements of the uh, cement, even though all cement consumes rather a lot of resources and, uh, and energy. So the uh, parliament thought that, OK, let's take this as more uh, from information approach. And uh, let's compare it to accounting. In accounting, you do not say what is uh, the investment required in R&D or investment uh, required in personal or marketing. You say, here are the accounting. That means a level playing field, transparent uh, information about what you spend, where you spend, and what is your profitability. And this, as we know, IFR process actually creates uh, comparable information. And then it is changed when uh, the world evolves we, and we understand that the needs in accounting standards to be changed. And uh, our approach about the indicators that are developed in uh, various initiatives serve as this kind of an accounting, but they are not yet uh, effective enough. Uh, because they are different. It's a bit like companies would use different accounting systems, so you lose the comparability. And Parliament wants to set this kind of a environmental resource efficient and societal accounting, so disclose there uh, from investee companies. Because the investee company, so the real economy where it is invested, has to disclose that information. Mm. So that the in, we can require the investee uh, uh, companies to do diligent and prudential behavior. Because if you can't have comparable information, how can we demand then uh, to, uh, to report that information and to have a due diligence? So they are interlocked. And all these three initiatives are interlocked. And so Parliament's pos uh, position uh, is let's have a harmonized indicators. Let's disclose the information uh, and uh, let's define in taxonomy what you measure. So it is the resource use, energy use, water consumption, uh, pollution. Uh, it is the biodiversity, uh, land use impact. And then again, give a bit more flexibility on the markets to, to decide where you set the standards and how you combine, combine the information because different activities have different impact, for example, on biodiversity or water consumption or on climate. And how do you see the materialization? How, how when will it materialize so, so to, to become concrete? Well, there we need a lot of help from the uh, financial community also. And actually, uh, when it relates to taxonomy, there's a global benchmark initiatives and others where the financial community globally is trying to shape the different uh, indicators together. But still, I think it is going to take some time and uh, the, uh, the ambition level from the parliament and 
uh, council might be too tight. Because first you have to have the indicators on in place mm. so that you can uh, use them on defining the taxonomy. And then you need the implement implementation uh, time for companies to implement the legislation and create the system to analyze and have the information. And uh, I don't know when uh, I would assume that uh, uh, hopefully the disclosure legislation would be uh, finalized uh, this spring. I have my doubts because it seems to be a bit challenging for Romanian presidency. And then definitely benchmarks and uh, taxonomy are going to go to the Finnish presidency. And I can't see, I can't imagine the, uh, the room where uh, the Rom Romanians could uh, finalize these dossiers. So that would mean that up to then, years before it is on, on place and uh, on requirements. But it is better to get it right and then take a decent, proper time to implement, uh, implement it and not to just uh, uh, start bit by bit by rushing with the climate indicator or something else and run after that. The last question I have is also a big one. Finland will uh, have the presidency of EU Council in, in, in the summer, beginning of the summer. How do you see that? Uh, how do you see the priorities? You already mentioned it uh, somewhat uh, in your recent words. And uh, how do you expect what will go through and, and uh, what will happen? Well, our finance minister, Petteri Orpa, has been talking quite a lot uh, that Finland has a lot to offer when it comes to, to climate, uh, combating climate change and, for example, this uh, environmentally friendly budgeting. So that means uh, <clears throat> erasing harmful fossil fuel subsidies, for example, and using the uh, being aware where your public money goes. And we have had quite some discussions about the sustainable finance package, so these three pieces of legislation. And we have very uh, good civil servants there. So I would assume there's a lot of work and uh, also a lot of capacity in Finnish side to do that work. And uh, just comparing to Romania, I think that the big bulk of the work would be on, on Finnish presidency. Would you have your last comments? Would you any anything you want to tell as regards? Well, uh, my biggest comment would be uh, that please uh, send your comments. Please uh, study a bit what uh, uh, what is proposed, and try to understand that the commissions and the parliament's positions at this stage are pretty different. So it is not about marrying or doing in two tracks. It is a question with green first you take or then you take this kind of a accounting perspective and uh, information perspective. And uh, then that uh, if we do not get the finances right and if we do not get the legislation that supports it, I don't think that we can uh, solve the climate change or other cha challenges, but only by political decision making. So please do support the process and please support it on your member states and uh, share the message uh, among your colleagues that they would do it on their member states because for some still this is a pretty, bit new thinking and uh, uh, member states and uh, finance ministers tend to be a bit cautious about this initiative. Thank you very much. Thank you and all the best success.